then I watch them all fly. All the girls wanna play, babe, watch. I got a swimming pool full of liquor and they diving it. Pool full of liquor, I'm a diving it all. I'm trying to stay pretty neat so I don't make too much of a mess. So this is the 18 inch. And since I already showed you the texture on the other video, I'm gonna um, not show you the texture on all of them because that's repetitious. I'm taking this. And I'm gonna lay it on top of the plastic, you know, as I said, so I don't get confused. And then I'm grabbing the 16. And I'm taking it out. And again, I'm gonna lay this under the paper towel. so that I don't get confused. I'm taking off the net. And what I will be doing, as I said already, is cutting them because I don't know, I want it to work. And I don't want the color to be um, unevenly um, saturated. So, I don't know, should I cut it? I don't know, I might not. So, what I'm gonna do is begin placing it inside I want to put a little bit more hot water because it's been a minute since I ran the hot water into the bucket and I want to make sure that it stays, you know, hot enough. And as I run the water, I'm going to just mix it. I don't want to make the color too, like, light. So, you know, I don't want to put too much water. I'm going to let you see what I'm doing. So stay tuned. Okay, this is the 20 inch. I'm gonna begin dipping it into the water and I'm not gonna put my hands in the water because, you know, I don't wanna get messy. You know, mess up my nails. Okay, so here I go. I'm dipping it with this little stick that I have. I'm dipping it, hope you can see. And then what the comb is for is to comb out so that I can evenly distribute it because I already decided not to cut it. And this hair is so soft. Yeah, I probably should have cut it, but you know, it is what it is. I think I'm going to unravel it just to make sure all of the hair gets colored. Still hoping that you can see me, but I'm going to adjust this so that you can. I'm going to move this out the way. Opening it. Um is better so that you can evenly distribute all of the color. So, and um, cutting it is prop not cutting it is probably better because you don't want to be trying to sew on just pieces. Okay, so here I go back, dipping it again. 
Yeah, and I said I wasn't gonna use my hands, but I am. Just opening it up, getting it all in there. And it seems like it's turning red. You see it? But it's not. And then next, I'm gonna use Kool-Aid packets. Cause I wanna get that red. And I wish I had more color of the um the purple, but I don't. So I don't know. I just wanted to do something different because I always do like the same thing, and it's best to like switch it up a little bit, especially when you're on YouTube, because nobody wants to see the same thing over and over again. Yeah, I'm making a mess, but you guys understand what I'm getting at. I'll just let that, you know, sit in there for a minute. It fell apart, but this hair is like so soft. I did do this watercoloring in another video and I actually still have the hair. It's um, actually sitting on top of a paper towel. So I'm gonna fold this up and comb it out. As I said, I really wish that I got more of this color because when you actually do it properly, it comes out so pretty and it doesn't want to fold properly for me. It's like so soft, it's like falling apart. It's crazy. And then my nails are longer than what I'm used to. So just bear with me. So I'm gonna comb this hair out. And all of the color didn't distribute the way I wanted it to, but you know, no biggie. And I should have brought down a brush, but I did it. So I wish you guys could feel this hair. It's like so soft. Even though I'm putting it through hell, it's still soft. I wonder if I have more color. I don't know if I used the whole bottle last time, but. I'm at this point where I could use anything to make this work. I'll grab vanilla flavor and use it. But I wanted the color a certain way, so I'm not gonna just be ghetto. So since I got this almost the way I want it, I'm gonna use a duck clip and clip it on so it'll somewhat stay in place, but this color is kind of pretty. I don't know why the color is turning red. I have no clue. I could have put too much water, I'm not sure. But now I'm going to squeeze out the remainder of the color so that I can work on the other bundles. This is the 20. Look how stiff it looks. 
<laughs> okay, next is this 18 inch. And I'm not sure I'm gonna use this same color. Uh, what do you guys think? I'm gonna take a pause and show you my other stuff that I did. I'm gonna show you kind of what I was going for. This is the other purple that I had did with the same color that I just used from Adore. So this is the purple and this is the red that I'm going for. So this will be fun. I'm gonna, you know, blow it out cause I just let it sit there. So I'm gonna blow it out and you know, see what it's looking like because every color changes after you, um, you know, blow it out. So I'm gonna rinse out my bucket and start with the red. I wanna make sure the bucket is clean. Don't have any residue from anything. So I have these two Kool-Aid packets, which is what made the um, other color like so red. And I thought I had another packet, but my kids just be touching everything. I think I do. So this water is hot. So I'm gonna take this and begin pouring the color in. One packet. Make sure I get it all in there. Just one. Like a half, I meant to say, because it wasn't full. And this is second packet. I'm gonna just pour it all in there because the bundles are like really, really thick. I'm just gonna put that over there for now. And I'm gonna mix it. A little bit more. Cause I was trying to get that like faded kind of look. And I think I'm gonna just color the closure first. I'm gonna color the closure first. And just to see what it's gonna do, I'm gonna just dip the tips in. And already it's taking, it's kind of pretty. And guys, don't worry, this will not stain the lace. And if it does, I will be bleaching the knots. But I'm going to just put this all the way in. And boy, this water is hot. You can't tell me I didn't boil this water. So. It's best to do like one bundle at a time. And I'm gonna let this sit in the sink. And I'm gonna take the other bundle and open it up. This is the 18 inch. hope this works guys keep your fingers crossed pray for me because I really want this to work 
band that the color is like so pretty. I mean, like the red, it's so pretty. And that other, the closure is just sitting in the sink, just dripping off the extra um, color. Um, okay, I'm going to grab another clip. See how pretty that is? This is the body wave. Y'all need to go and get some of her hair. And as you go, it gets lighter, so... is so annoying I think I'm gonna need to go and get more packets let me just let that sit there I'm missing a kool-aid packet I thought I had three oh I found it oh shoot I got two so this is gonna work out. Okay, so I'm gonna open this up. I know I bought a lot of those um, white Kool-Aid packets. I had bought a tropical thinking that it was gonna be like purple, but it's, it didn't come out like that. It was like some other type of red. So I'm gonna set this to the side and put more color. I'm just going to use one because just mix that up and then just dip it back. Just throw all in there and then take my little stick, just move it around. And then the last bundle, I'm going to just put the other packet in. Isn't this pretty? The purple one didn't come out the way I wanted it to. Over there. It was supposed to come out like this. But, hey, it is what it is. <laughs> my husband he's just watching to see what I'm doing but still pretty even though the the, um, the tracks is like falling apart because I didn't clip it properly but and I'm not gonna squeeze this it's too hot so let that sit to the side and just add more. I'm gonna add half of this packet and then do the other if I need more. Okay. Really? to dip it upside down. Okay. 
So, on to the next one. It seems like the less hair you put in there, the better it'll um, take, but I don't know. It's not neat, but hell is hair. Okay. So, as I said, I'm going to just dip this. No, throw it in there because I don't need it to be uneven again. And then, whatever doesn't, um, if it doesn't color, the way I wanted it to, I'll just take it out and add the rest of the packet. Let me use some of this. And some of this. Preserving the color. Okay, for now, this one is fine. But I wanted more red, so this looks orange. I'm gonna put more color. More water. Just a little bit. And dip this back. Leave this in there for a minute. The closure took so fast and so nice, but it, everything else wants to give me trouble. throw those away and I'm gonna just lay this closure on top of here get rid of my mess while that sits <clears throat> I'm gonna play with this hair a little bit more wish I had more packets cuz that'll be awesome Since I don't, and um, part two, we're going to make this wig, and I believe. This just might be bright enough for me. So I guess I'm getting those orangey vibes.
tingly. Probably because I didn't fold it properly. Yep, see, I didn't fold it properly. It tracks all down here. I don't even know what to call all of these colors when I make this wig. But my fingers are red. So I'm going to clean up and then I'm going to end this video for now. And then. While I'm washing this off, I'm gonna throw it out. Okay, guys, so that basically concludes this video for um for now. So I would like it if you would like, comment, and subscribe. Um, about what you thought about this video and um, yeah comment down below and let me know um, what color should I do next I'm thinking about like a lime green wig to make I don't know but um, comment down below and let me know what color you want to see next love you guys and I'll see you in my next video bye